This is the first presentation of my rice cleaner. This is version um, well, version six of this, and version five of the drum. And the circuitry just kind of just kind of upgrades with that. Uh, it's for now, for testing purposes, it's powered by a 12 volt battery, but um, it will be powered by a um, by a power supply. On here we've got a uh, a back converter. Pretty much the only reason it's here is so that I can control the speed of the motor. Just because when I'm testing at night, it's too loud sometimes. Uh, we've got a motor driver, and we've got a, a, a digital out for a sensor that's in here. That that senses the um, the particles in the water, so I can tell whether the water's dirty and when it's clean. And obviously, all this is powered by a um, a Raspberry Pi Pico and the idea is we've got this little drum here and we fill it with are you having rice later? well I guess I'll have to okay well I'm cleaning two people's worth of rice today oh no no I would be no no just do your portion please are you not actually having I, rice later? no I've got um, lentils and beans okay one person rice it is <laughs> I've got markers on this cup here that's uh, for one person's portion and two people's portion it's 75 grams each because that's what the uh, that's what the bag of rice says we put that in there that's about right cool right now the idea is that this goes in here and you'll notice that there's currently zero percent on the screen hopefully you can see that it's kind of goopy on this tiniest screen. We'll fill this up with water. There, and you can see dirtiness is already jumping. No, it's still at zero. I think it was just detecting water. Cool. There's two switches on the front here. The bottom one turns on the, uh, the valve to let water out. And the top one actually starts spinning the drum. And um, I've not put the lid on it yet, but um, I'll turn that off. It'll do five seconds backwards and forwards. Yeah. And I'll actually put the lid on this time. And then the lid has a stick to actually help the rice move around a little bit more whilst it's in there. So we can turn that on and it'll do the spinny spin. I also don't think this stick is long enough to reach the, uh, the little amount of rice that's in there so I might just have to get a, um, a stick and poke it a tiny bit but essentially that's that's all this is doing just mixing the uh, mixing the rice a little bit oh we've got 9% now so we did update we've got 9% murkiness 12% murkiness I'm just going to leave this running for a little bit and then walk away. So yeah, we've been spinning for a little bit here. You can tell that the water is murky. I'm going to turn this motor off. I'll um, do a quick zoom in. There we go, I've readjusted the camera a little bit. So you can see that water over here is pretty murky, let me focus on that screen so yeah you can see that water there is really murky and it says it's 55% so yeah now I'm draining out the water you can lift this out whilst the uh, water is draining and um, that's somewhat clean rice the idea is that you do this a few times but the I want to get it to the point where the water refills by itself so if I close that valve, my idea for this is just to sort of have in the corner of the kitchen and just be able to drop some rice in and it will just automatically start cleaning it. And when the water gets dirty enough, it will empty out the water and there will hopefully be some kind of tank above it and it will just feed more water in. This is a very small valve, I just bought this as a test. This is way too small, the water doesn't doesn't go out as quick as I want it to so I'd probably replace that with a bigger one I'd have uh, some kind of water tank on top to put the water in after it's after it's gone out 
and um, I need this part to be longer because it doesn't actually reach the first portion of the rice which is slightly irritating if I turn off this spin I can actually show you because I can take the drum out yeah. I can take this out and um, see how this is barely touching the, uh, the top of the rice it's barely touching and you can lower to the bottom so um, yeah hopefully I'll, I'll improve that in the next design of this but as a as a as a version as, as, as a prototype this works pretty well I'm hoping to oops, I'm hoping to um, improve it with time but now I'm just gonna let this sit and um, clean some rice for me so that I don't have to do it. So yeah, that's my concept for a rice cleaner. As you can see in here, I have some clean rice that I can now either leave in here to soak. That will be sort of an, an option I want to add to um, to leave clean water in the uh, in with the drum to um, to soak the rice, or you can just straight away take it out and um, and cook with it but yeah I still have some things to add like um, a better version of this thing the sensor I'm not too happy with its performance but it works um, this thing is not long enough um, the motor is loud the valves are too small the water doesn't change by itself but these are all things that I'm I'm planning to update. For me, the best place to to see updates from me will be on my Instagram, and I actually have a a whole highlights reel devoted to exactly how I've prototyped prototyped this. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. This is where I post most of my stuff.